Hi kids, this is Mr. Harrell again, and today is the fifth and final part of the history of Thanksgiving, Squanto's rough childhood and compassionate heart. So we know that Squanto saved the pilgrims, but let's return to when they very first met. Did it ever seem just a little bit odd to you that Squanto knew how to speak English? Here's why he knew how to speak English. When Squanto was just about the same age as a fifth grader, he was kidnapped. Different Europeans, not the pilgrims, took Squanto from his village. These would have been people whose skin looked just like the pilgrims and whose ships looked very much like the Mayflower. And Squanto has said that they tied his hands and they tied his legs and they put him on their boat and he, they forced him to go to England. His family and friends had no idea what had happened to him. So he was sold to a family in England who he served for two years without being paid. And then he was sold again to a group of explorers who wanted him to sell to America with them. So let's think about this. First, he was kidnapped from America and forced to sell 2,000 miles across the ocean to Europe. And then he was sold to a group of explorers who now wanted to sell him back across the ocean again so that he could help them communicate with Native Americans. It gets even crazier. Hold on. In America, his slave owner died. He got very sick and he died. Well, that meant that uh, Squanto wasn't a slave anymore, so he returned to his village a free man and excited, of course, to see his family and friends. But when he arrived, his village was deserted. There was nobody there and there was nothing there. No family, no friends, nobody. He learned later that they had all died from disease. While he was a slave in England, all of his family and all of his friends got sick and died. And not only did he not have an opportunity to say goodbye to them, he didn't even know it happened. Wait a minute. It gets even crazier. The site of his old village where everyone died is what we now know of as Plymouth. That's right, Plymouth where the pilgrims landed in the first place. They found it empty because everyone had just died a short time earlier than that. And we know how that went for the pilgrims when they first landed, don't we? Now, Squanto could have been angry, and he could have let them all die that next winter when he saw what a rough time they were having. But he chose to help them instead in all the ways we discussed earlier by helping them to grow crops and go hunting and, and find medicine and communicate with other Native Americans, no matter how others had treated him, even though he had been a slave and that caused him to never, ever see his family again, he still wanted to help the pilgrims. That means he had compassion. And that's a word that we've talked a lot about, and that's a word that comes up a lot around this time of year at Thanksgiving, and that is a word that describes the first Thanksgiving with Squanto. He showed compassion to the pilgrims, even though other people had treated him very, very bad. Now that's it for our lesson about Thanksgiving. We have gone through five different parts of a really wild and unbelievable story of where Thanksgiving came from. I want us now to go all the way back to the very beginning and think about King Henry and Catherine of Aragon. Let's reimagine Thanksgiving. Let's start with Cat or Henry and let's start with Catherine. And now let's reimagine them instead of splitting up. Let's imagine that they really loved each other a whole lot and wanted to stay together. How would that have changed Thanksgiving? For a whole bunch of different people, how would everything have changed if Catherine and Henry had stayed together? Let's make a, flow, a multi flow map of this. Let's start with the event Henry is happy with Catherine and never leaves her. What I want you guys to do is discuss with your class three things. If Henry is happy with Catherine and never leaves her, how is that different for the Church of England? And if Henry is happy with Catherine and never leaves her, 
how does that make things different for the pilgrims? And if Henry is happy with Catherine and never leaves her, how does that make things very different for Squanto? Have a good discussion. Talk about how this would have changed things entirely for the story of Thanksgiving. And again, thank you guys for being such great listeners this whole time. Happy Thanksgiving.